fear like my whole life. Like I've always just been uh, followed with fear. And, and then when I was 18 is when I started comedy. I started stand-up comedy about 12 years ago. And I had no fear of it not working out um, because I just loved it so much. And that's when I realized that love overcomes fear all day, every day. And then I got married and I realized that sometimes love and fear kind of go together. <laughs> And listen, I love my wife. She's my best friend. It's not that. I'm afraid of something that you husbands have never told me. Round of applause if you're married. Go ahead. Great, great. All of you married people, husbands, I am mad at you because you did not tell me something that I wish somebody would have told me. Round of applause if you're not married. Who's not married? All right, good. Three couples. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is awkward for you. Um, <laughs> Here's, I'm gonna tell you something I wish they would've told me, which is this, and I'm gonna lock eyes with you, sir. Here it is. When you get married, you are responsible to keep everybody in your family alive. <laughs> Everyone, your, your wife, keep her alive. Your kids, keep them alive. Animals, alive. Don't even think about a goldfish. Do you know how hard it is to give CPR to a goldfish named Nemo? It's difficult, which is exactly why my dad was always so stressed out, because he had my mom and four kids, and he would constantly shout things like, don't stick your head out the car window, don't jump off the stairs, don't put your finger in the light socket. And that was all just to my mom. <laughs> it's scary stuff. And now we've been married three years, so I learned to laugh more than I do just be afraid of things. And my wife, her and I are best friends. She's my, my co-writer. Um, we just have a blast together, but my single friends don't believe it. My single friends are always like, come on, you guys gotta argue all the time. And no, we've only had really two fights so far. One was because one of us said that Star Trek was a terrible show. And she was wrong. <laughs> And the second fight was over a romantic comedy, which is the enemy to all men. You cannot compare yourself to a man in a movie because he has music. Like in a romantic comedy, a man can end an argument with one sentence. He can just be like, I'm so sorry you're mad at me, but I didn't realize how beautiful you are. That doesn't even make sense. In real life, a man can't end an argument that way. Half the time, a man doesn't even know when he's in an argument. He's like, uh, are you mad at me or something? We haven't talked in weeks. I can't tell if we're in a fight or if my wish came true. So we were, it was over this movie called Monster-in-Law. Anybody ever see Monster-in-Law? No, none of you, you've seen it? No, you haven't, none of you have seen it. Okay, great, here's the deal. You are not missing out. I'll give you a quick synopsis, okay? Uh, Jennifer Lopez, that's all you need to know. It's not worth the watch. There's a scene in the movie where Jenny from the block is walking some dogs. And while she's doing it, this guy goes up to ask her out on a date and she goes, you know what? You don't know anything about me. You don't even know the color of my eyes. Ugh. Just turns away, just like that. And makes him answer. Now this is his answer. You have to imagine romantic music behind it because he goes, well at first, I thought your eyes were brown, but then I realized that they're green. And then when the sun sets, it's almost auburn. Hold on, this man doesn't know. He has no idea what color her eyes are. He listed three different colors. But it sounds romantic because there's music and she's turned away so she can't see him throw away his man card. <laughs> and it's very lovey-dovey in the movie. In the living room, my wife, then girlfriend, it's important to know we're not married yet so that you're on my side. She looks at me and she goes, what color are my eyes? I, there's a couple of things I think you need to know about me. Uh, number one, I am colorblind. <laughs> Actually, I'm not, but that's totally what I told her. And number two, um, I am bad at tests. 
Like really bad at tests. I, I, once, I once got a D on a history exam that I cheated on. Okay, my parents weren't even upset. They were just disappointed in me. They were like, how did you do that? You had the answers on your hand. Like, I'm sorry, I was nervous. I didn't, I didn't know. So, so I got nervous when she asked me, what color are my eyes? Her eyes were closed, and this was my answer. Imagine beautiful romantic music as well. And I said, uh, brown. No, not brown. Uh, brown. No, I just said brown. Uh, <sighs> yellow? No, that's, no, that's not right. Can't be yellow. Well, your eyes are red right now, I'll tell you that. 